My name is Mario Vargas. I'm the manager of product development tool sales for PADT. And this will be a how-to series on the various products that we represent for Stratasys. So beginning with the Uprint, the desktop device, uh, to the work group uh, dimension devices, and the uh, direct digital manufacturing Fortis devices. Today our segment is going to be on the uh, dimension line of Stratasys products and we're going to talk about loading and unloading material. So the first thing I want to do is uh, come up to the display and note the amount of model and support material on the display. Uh, then you want to hit load material and it'll ask you if you want to unload the model material first so you just hit yes and then it'll ask you as well on the support material and you're going to hit yes. So we waited uh, you know, about two, three minutes and you heard a little click noise. If you kind of let it go a little longer, you can come back and hit retry and then still allow you to, to unload it. So unloading it, you're going to push in and then you're going to pull out. This happens to be the model material. So you're going to pull that out slightly, putting that there. And then you're going to do the same thing for the support material. And just lightly pulling that. And to kind of store, to store this material, you don't want to push that back in. You want to just cut off the end on both cartridges. And then a good habit is to write down on maybe the label here the amount of material uh, that was shown on the display. So the material will come in these uh, white cartons. I'm going to pull out the model material first. You'll notice a, uh, a red stopper here. You want to turn that and pull that off. And then you'll see uh, the material with a, a small little tape at the end here. You want to uh, roll this wheel out slightly and that'll um, pull the material out and just cut that end and just leave that little segment. And you're going to do the same thing with the support material. So you're going to remove this red stopper and rotate that little wheel out. Then you'll cut that little end, same thing, and those are ready to load in the, uh, in the device. Take the cartridges and the uh, first thing you want to see is uh, this, you have the support material uh, on the label and uh, the color of the material. And then here on the, uh, on the device you'll see the S for support. You're going to lay that in there. And then the model material of course is white and then of course it'll say model on the label. And you'll put that in there. Uh, so we waited uh, a little bit. You're going to hit uh, retry. Or just, uh, if it doesn't have retry, it's, it's allowing you to insert the cartridges. You're going to push those right in place. Okay, here at the display, you're going to see load and replace. You're going to want to hit load. The print head will move forward, and you can hear the material being pulled into the, into the head. And then the head will go back to its home position. And... Uh, a very important step is to see it purge, you actually uh, visually see it purge. If you look inside the build area, you'll notice the print head. So what you see here is the purging of the white material, the model material, and then of course the support material, which is the darker material. The other thing you'll notice is they are dumped into a little trash bin. Occasionally you want to take that out and empty it, uh, and then put it back in there. After you see it purge, visually see it purge, you're going to hit yes but it gives you the option of hitting no or purge again. So let's hit yes. And here you're ready to go. Thank you for watching our segment on the loading and unloading of the dimension materials. I'm Mario Vargas and we'll see you again.